Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and today I have the most common words on the GRE. This is the real juicy subject matter. So listen up, because we got six words that you have to know for the test. Starting with ameliorate. To ameliorate means to take something that's bad, not doing well, and to make it better. It comes from the Latin melior, to make better. And so maybe if you speak Spanish or Italian or some Latin-based language, you'll notice that root right there. Now, you oftentimes hear this in the context of poverty. Like many candidates running for the election promise to ameliorate poverty. So they're trying to make it better. The next word is mitigate. Now, I put this right after ameliorate because they're very similar, but they come up a lot of times on the test. Mitigate also means to take something and make it less bad. Here, though, we oftentimes have it coupled with the word consequences. So to mitigate the negative consequences of something means to take those consequences and make them less bad. So if you want to, you can think of this as a two for one, mitigate and ameliorate. And hopefully that mitigates some of the difficulty of learning all these words. The next word is one that the GRE just loves. I have no idea why, but that word is reticent. It means not speaking or saying much. You're kind of tight-lipped. You're offering only a few word answers at a time. I don't know, mm -hmm. reticent. Hey, GRE, why do you use the word reticent so much on the test? I don't know, they'd say they would be reticent. The next word is very pragmatic to know. What, wait, you didn't know what I just said with pragmatic? What does that word mean? Hey, guess what? That's the word I'm gonna talk about. Pragmatic means practical, as in something makes a lot of sense to do. So learning the word pragmatic, especially if it's one of the most common words on the GRE is, well, pretty pragmatic. The next word is a tricky word, and I think the GRE knows that. And that word is equivocal. Why is it tricky? Well, a lot of people think, hmm, equi is like equal. Vocal is saying, hey, I'm vocal. So saying something vocally or, being the same when you speak, but it actually means something very different. It means to speak in a way that is vague, where what you say is open to interpretation, as though you're kind of beating around the bush, as, where were you the night of the crime? I don't know, it was out and about? That's equivocating, which is the verb, or being equivocal. And the last word is ephemeral. It's a very pretty sounding word, but it pretty much shows up like all the time on the test. What does it mean? It means short-lived or fleeting, not lasting for a long time, just like this description of ephemeral. Okay, so here's a pragmatic tip, speaking of the word pragmatic. Once this video is done, think of all the words that I just went through and try to remember not only the words, but the definitions for those words. Wait, don't go just yet. Are you studying for the GRE? Then join the 1.8 million students who have used Magoosh to tackle the test. Check out the link in the description below to find out more. And if you want more vocab videos, then check out the ones on the left.